If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the video. Overboard is on there. The remake of Overboard. I don't know if the original Overboard is on there. It might be. Maybe I can look that up and put that somewhere. Bing! Um, but the remake of Overboard is gender swapped where it's the the rich guy ends up getting with the the poor girl whereas the 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 original was flipped and um it's done well it's very interesting the way that it's done it has a very um i wouldn't say latin america but it has it has a very like a very cultural feel to it, which I thought I thought was awesome. I mean, it was a, it was a fresh take on it, and uh, yeah, it was it was a good watch. I'm not gonna, I don't know, like I I didn't super get into the original Overboard, so I'm not getting super into this one. So it's like it's not one of the things where it's like this one was better, or this one was better, this one was better. I don't know. They're they're both entertaining movies and fresh takes on stuff. Well, I mean, that, that was a fresh take on the other one. The other one was a fresh take just to be fresh. So, yeah. Look at this. Bing. I'm bouncing the light a little bit with this. I am bouncing the light a little bit. Night of the Living Deb. This movie was... Okay. It was... Uh, you know, it was... Uh, interesting. Cringy. Like, the main actress, like, a, she was in... Um, the movie Russell Brand that I can't really think of right now. Wait. I can remember this because I know where that movie is. Oh, no, no, no it's above my door. Uh, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. She she was in Forgetting Sarah Marshall. She was a side character in Forgetting Sarah Marshall. And so I was like, oh, okay, cool, I'll check this out. And uh, it's interesting. It's basically these two people hook up after a wild night, let's say. Uh, these two people hook up. And then it's like kind of the thing where the guy's like, "Oh no, what 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 have what have I done? I gotta get out of here." Oh, okay, let's just let's just let's just part ways, and we'll be we'll be cool. Okay, we'll part ways, but during the night, a zombie epidemic had swept their town, so they have to get back together and just like go through this ordeal. Like I said, it was okay. It, it didn't really like pop is super amazing to me or any amazing new concepts but it was interesting better than there's another one I think I, I watched those like Zed or Be better off Zed or something like that that movie I couldn't watch all the way through it was just really boring I see you is on Amazon Prime Sylvester Stallone action movie but not really as much an action movie as it is a, a thriller. It's basically the, the, it's, it's a slasher film, you know. But it has Sylvester Stallone as the main lead. All uh, Robert Patrick is in there. Robert Patrick looks great in this. He, uh, but the movie is old. It's not a new movie. Like the movie had been out a really long time, and I think there was a lot of debacles going back and forth and yada 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 blah 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 blah. And I don't think that. Even though it's called I See You, I don't think a lot of people saw it. Um, I think my brother had ended up getting a copy of it, but it was for the wrong re region, so he couldn't play it in his DVD player. Um, the movie is solid. I mean, it was, it was really solid. Just like, they, they, I, think it, I think it's from the director of I Know What You Did Last Summer. Uh, not as compelling as I Know What You Did Last Summer. Kind of like, it's, it's these police officers type deal that have had issues or whatever. They're all in this confined area. And the set is amazingly creepy. Like, the the, the, the atmospheric-ness of the set pieces is very witnessable. You know, you're just like, ooh. ooh. You're like, you, just, you just feel just hard concrete and dark hallways, you know. Um, but they're all in this group thing, you know, where they're like, hi, my name's Tom, I, I had the, or, uh, Sebastian, I was just, this is what happened, and I did not go to it, and so I was fine, but yeah, yeah, I, I don't want to do it, you know, I don't want to do it, no, I don't want to do it, 
That's horrible. I'd do a better Sylvester Stallone impersonation. Here, let me do it for you. Ooh. Um. Ooh. <laughs> um, anyways. But a uh, solid action movie. Well, it's, a, it's not an action movie. It's a, it's a slasher film. It, it, it's good. It's good. If you're in the mood for like a slasher film, it's a solid slasher film. Gremlin is on Amazon Prime. Not to be confused with Gremlins of Chris Columbus fame. Right? Chris Columbus wrote that. I don't know if anybody... Joe Dante, yeah. Chris Columbus wrote that. Joe Dante directed that. Steven Spielberg produced that. Got it. <coughs> Not to be confused with Goonies that was written by Chris Columbus, directed by Richard Donner, produced by Steven Spielberg. Okay. <laughs> Steven Spielberg been super like people like Steven Spielberg is a famous director, but he did a lot of producing. He did a lot of producing. Anyways, um, successful producing, yes, of course. Anyways, uh, way off track. Darn you, ADD. No, <laughs> Gremlin is. A low budget movie about this, a low budget uh, horror movie, which uh, it kind of leans more on the action thing, but it, or, or, or whatever. But it's Gremlin esque, but it's not a spoof. Its name is Gremlin. It's about a Gremlin. It's a completely unique piece of art, and it's a low budget film so if you know you're getting into a low budget film you can really enjoy this movie because in fact it's about this box and they get this kind of puzzle-esque timer box and somebody hands it to them you said come back all right fine uh they get this puzzle box and then they have to give it to someone they love and they, each time they give it to somebody they love the timer resets and there's an ancient myth about this special thing that would kill this this creature that would kill time kill uh, bloodlines. That's pretty much what it is. You gotta, gotta give it to someone you love, the timer resets. Give it to somebody you love, but every time it kills somebody, the timer clicks back, clicks back, clicks back. And they said, "What happens when the timer ends? You don't know, but you find out in the movie." And it's uh yeah no really good. I don't I don't want to spoil it. But yeah, it's it's fun. It's so fun. It's a low budget movie. Like just just go. Okay, I'm going into a low budget film here, and it's a well done low budget film. I mean, it's one of the things where it's like it didn't. I'm sure it didn't get gigantic worldwide press or anything like that. But it's just a well made uh, low budget movie. Like it remind it reminded me of like back in the days, written movies from blockbuster. You know, you you you'd be more adventurous in what you're watching and whatnot. And this. It's a hidden gem. It's really a hidden gem. And the next one is two because I dropped my list. Um, yeah, the next one is a hidden gem as well by the same director. Is this is this providing light? To... No, the lights come over here. All right, cool. I keep on moving my laptop, making it like, hey, don't turn off because I'm using you for light. But it's not it's not enough light that I get. Um. Jurassic Games. This is another one that is really good. Uh, low budget film. Same director. Has a couple characters from the from the Gremlin movie in it as well. And this one, once again, low budget film, but good graphics and stuff. Good computer effects and stuff like that for a low budget film. I mean, really, it wasn't like two dollars or anything. They put some money into it, and it, it it's well done. But it's not like a mega studio production, you know what I'm saying? But Jurassic Games is supposed to be there's a whole bunch of criminals that are put into virtual reality, a virtual reality space. And in the virtual reality, there's a island or whatever in the world, and they're surrounded by dinosaurs. There's dinosaurs. And these, this group of people for a game show called Jurassic Games have to not work together. They basically, it's last person standing gets their freedom. These prisoners get to be free if the, if the last person standing. 
but the the group starts with dinosaurs and then they go into different levels of this game and uh yeah no very interesting watch very fun uh it was yeah like i said easy watch well done i enjoyed it a lot actually so check it out if you got a chance because it is a gym a hidden gym <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. If, if you if you don't like any of these videos and you'd like to see more, like kind of like a life vlog, well, guess what? I do one of those on Saturday. So you can go ahead and uh, subscribe still and watch uh, the, the, the weekly Saturday vlog. Uh, this is my weekly Wednesday vlog about movies and whatnot. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, best day and best wishes to you and yours. Y'all be good. Later, homies.